I'm KCD Gardner for Discovery News. I'm in Malta, Montana, and behind me is a molecular paleontology field station, which is the first of its kind. And what it is is a mobile lab that allows paleontologists to analyze fossils right in the field. So this is the molecular paleontology field laboratory. Basically, we take it out into the field and run all of our experiments out here as soon as the bone comes out of the ground. Mary Schweitzer of North Carolina State University and Jack Horner of Montana State University received funding from their respective universities to buy and renovate the mobile lab. This 48-foot trailer is a sophisticated lab. It's outfitted with a clean room, wireless internet, and sterilization equipment. Its purpose is to chemically analyze fossil specimens the same day they're extracted from the ground. This is important for a couple of reasons. It's never been done before at a dig site and the team thinks they'll be able to extract time-sensitive information about the fossils. Horner says it's this kind of paleontology that will change what we know about dinosaurs. Obviously, the, the studies on proteins and, and the things we're doing with that molecular trailer, I think, have a tremendous potential to change the way people think about fossilization and actually get people really doing more molecular paleontology. I think we have a, a great opportunity to, to get a much better uh, protein and possibly DNA samples from these dinosaurs by getting the lab close. The first thing that happens is we, we actually pluck some of the bone out of the pieces of bone out of some of the big bones and send them into our molecular lab to process. We know that when samples are taken out of the field, and shipped off to North Carolina or even Montana State, degradation starts as soon as we pull the specimens out of the field by putting the laboratory right there, right at the site or close to it. We can minimize contamination and certainly minimize degradation. And minimizing these processes may mean gathering new data about what happens to the fossils once they're removed from the ground. Well, that's the beauty of it. <laughs> if you know everything, what do you have to look forward to? You never know what piece of the puzzle from the past can be applied to problems here in the future. Can we see telltale signs of extinctions happening now based on what we've looked at in the past? After the lab finishes up its summer stint in Malta, it will be parked the rest of the year at the Museum of the Rockies until next summer. In Malta, Montana, for Discovery News, I am KCD Gardner.